Um, hello, everybody. Uh, welcome back to another one of my Exile videos. This is part two, and I really hope you enjoy it. Make sure to leave a comment down below, and let's get right into the video. Okay, guys. So we are about ready to make it to the safe zone. It has taken ages for me, and I did get a little bit more loot. Not much, though. Just, I did get one more magazine, though, so that will help me. But nothing else, really. Like, no new guns or anything like that. Which kind of sucks, but that's okay. I want to show you guys the safe zone like because there's a lot of shit to buy there you can buy pretty much everything there you actually need to even like build bases for that matter but um we're not gonna be buying the materials for our base we'll just be building it more than likely let me get down here base building is a very super long process though so you never know back in the day i might have had that much time but anymore i don't have enough time to all the big ass base. It takes way too long. Fuck man, this is some dense stuff. We're almost here. Oh look at here. A little trail. I should have just stuck on this. Wonder if there's anybody here. Doesn't look like to be anybody here so far. Oh here we go. We want to find the... Uh, wait, let's take out what we want first. We don't want any of that. So we want to find the waste dump. That will be able to allow us to sell the quad and all the items inside of it at once. Here it is. We'll park it right next to this guy. Got to be very super careful for thefts in the safe zone. They like stealing the uh, vehicles. Sweet. $2,800 for that. I'll be able to get myself something nice probably. Who would just leave an RPG down on the ground like that? I wonder if that can even... Can that sell? Nope. Wow. I just got myself a free RPG. What the fuck was somebody thinking when they set that thing down? Oh, a locker? Private stash? What? Oh, you... 2800... Okay, so I'm gonna, well, I'm not gonna deposit anything yet, but this is cool. I thought it might, like, mean that you could, like, actually store loot in there, but, oh, well, that's cool, too. Holy shit, now this has changed. Wow, this is awesome. It looks so nice. Everything's so organized in here. Wow, they done a fantastic job on this. Let's take a look and see what this guy has. So... We've got a weapon. It's an MX. It's nothing too special. But we might be able to get something better. Or we could get upgrades too. Let's see here. How much is a light machine gun? That is what I want right there. I want the Lim 556. The PKP. Eh. Maybe I want the PKP. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll take the PKP. I'm going to go more towards the uh, rebel side. So I'll sell this gun. There we go. Sell. I'll also sell all these in here, the little mags and stuff. And then I will get myself my gun of choice, which is the PKP 7.62 millimeter. Uh, I don't want it in my backpack. I want it on my equipment. Here we go. Absolutely awesome. Oh, that's, that's awesome. I'm liking that. Now we just need to get some 100 round belts for it. Oh my gosh, the sights look sexy. We'll get to them. I don't think this thing, the bad thing about the PKP is I don't think it can fit any of those sights. It, yeah, it doesn't. It doesn't. It's just a normal fitting iron sight weapon. It doesn't fit any optics. That's okay. I'm cool with this. Okay, I just bought a can opener from this guy here. He's the hardware dude. You look inside your inventory. You find your can opener. How much is it worth on here? $40. $40 that's not bad at all. So I got it for 40 pop tabs. Maybe 80 pop tabs at the most. But you need this in order if you want to get into some canned food. You got to get that motherfucker. You got to pop that lid open with something. So bottle opener. I think, I believe even screwdrivers might work. I'm not sure. But then you just want to double click. On your glorious snack worst raw for you. Oh my gosh, doesn't that sound delicious? And then you want to consume it. 
just like that, and it works in 160 percent. Depending upon your food, if it's cooked or raw, it's going to change your values. I believe even some foods can damage your health. Um, so be careful about that when you go to buy and eat food. Here is the office. You can buy territory flag kits here, and it will allow you to be able to build on any portion of land that you want as long as it is on the rules. You can build there. It's legal, and the uh, admins are okay with it. And you can find that out by going to 6, pressing 6, and it can open up your iDroid. Turn it on, and a lot of times there's server rules here, and you can hit them, and you can read every single thing. Here we go. No killing within 500 meters within a safe zone or camping within 1,000 meters. So they're pretty particular. Each, this is the thing, is each server admin is different, so each one's uh, server is going to have different regulations depending upon where you're playing. Um, I'm actually playing, I think, Dirty Self Gaming or something like that. I'm not I'm not pausing. Maybe it's not. But no locking vehicles in the safe zone if they were stolen from you of the safe zone. So no stealing people's vehicles if they had stolen them from you in combat and then taken them back to the safe zone. If that makes any sense. No building bases within 500 meters of an unprotected trader. If you are camping a trader of any kind from your base, it will be moved. Not too often does that happen because generally admins, they don't want you building anyways close to a, a trader. No racism in chat to any other players. Do not avoid combat. Example, turning to go to the safe zone. Tr turning to go to the safe zone because of shots at you. Okay, so basically going and hiding and being a pansy inside of a safe zone because you're getting shot and you think you're going to die. And uh, so, yeah, here's where you buy your flag. We will not be buying one yet. Um, and eventually I probably will, but not not at the moment. Just not focused on that right now. Well, let's find ourselves a vehicle. Here we go. Here's the vehicle, dude. And it's pretty nice. You got him in there working on their vehicles here. Look at this dude. He's really comfortable. He's just going around in his his uh, bare feet. He's even got he's he's uh, rocking his his uh, shades here. Oh man. Okay, let's get ourselves a vehicle. Oh, so this guy is where you purchase the vehicle at, and then the other dude is for the paint shop. So let's see here. Ooh, a Prowler. Prowler. Oh my gosh, these things are expensive. Oh, ho, ho. look at that thing. Not exactly sure what I want to go with yet, but this is something that will be mine, and I can lock it. And even a quad costs 2500 I only have $3,800, 3800 tabs. So I'm not going to buy a fucking quad when I can just find one. Man, vehicles are very expensive in this server. So we will go without. Would you looky here? I just found myself a vehicle. Let's get inside this thing and drive it. Looks like somebody else had meant to sell it, but they just never got to it. Maybe they quit out of the game or something. But I am going to sell this and see how much money I get off it. If I get enough, I will get myself a vehicle of some sort. Oh, Jesus. 4,000 pop tabs. Oh, yeah, baby. We might be able to find ourselves a nice, suitable vehicle. Let's get over here to the vehicles real super fast. Okay, I'm confused of what to buy because even though I got 8,000, I still kind of get shitty. Still kind of shitty selections. Uh, I could go with the Octavius. I know from an experience that that's actually a pretty good vehicle. I've used it before. I think that's what we'll do. We'll take this and use this for loot. Hopefully nobody blows it up. Okay, we just bought our first own car. Now, we need to go loot, find some shit, and then maybe build a base afterwards, depending upon if we, uh, what the fuck is that?